Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Wow, it tells it crazy. Um, if you guys don't know already, I mean, you can tell from the title of this video and you saw the little clip in the beginning, so you know that the outcome is cute, but I'm gonna be doing a poly gel pedicure today. So if you guys are excited, make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below, click the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and let's just get right into this video because my toes look hideous. Okay, so I have gel. I have um, builder gel on my big toe on both feet, but I'm only showing you guys one foot. But I have builder gel and then I have um, white gel polish on my toenails. So I could soak this off, but I was being very impatient and I just wanted to buff it off my toes as opposed to waiting about 20 to 30 minutes for it to soak off. This took like five minutes for each foot. It was very quick. Um, so you don't have to do this in order to get your old gel off, but it made my job a lot easier as opposed to waiting for it to soak off. Like I said, I had clear builder gel on my toes, only on my big toe because my big toe is fairly thin and it isn't because I do my toes all the time or what it's just like genetics i just have thin nails naturally so i like to put builder gel on my toes but more so just my big toe because it helps shape them they're very long i know i waited two months to do my toes again that's why they're so ridiculously long but i'm cutting them down so this is like aesthetically pleasing to watch like you know those like satisfying videos that they do like on snap this this is how i like i had one of those moments when i was cutting my toenails down i was like wow finally um i'm gonna be doing a pedicure and i'm using this like at home petty spa thing i don't know what the technical term for it is but um i believe the brand is suddenly smooth and this shit is legit like this is really cool i put boiling hot water in it and then i put some room temperature water and i added some epsom salt this is like an unscented one so i did go in with some essential oils that my sister had and i just did a couple of drops of lavender essential oil and tea tree this makes the water smell really really good um lavender is great for the skin tea tree is like um sanitizing if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on that though but i just did a couple of drops of those because they smelled so good and then i did this sally hansen cuticle remover on my cuticles before i put my feet in to soak um in my little petty spa it was so relaxing it smelled so good because of the central oils i honestly just wanted to keep my feet in it all day but the event the water eventually got cold and i was just like okay this is pointless but it was really nice like i honestly really really like this this is my first time using it like my mom and my sister have used it before but this was my first experience and i really really like this like i could see myself doing pedicures more often just so i can put my feet in this thing like it bubbles a lot i just had it on the bubble setting it has two different settings well it has three you can put your feet in there with no bubbles um you can put your feet in there with bubbles and then they have water jets so the two buttons on the top one is water jets which i'm clicking right here and it really just like went in like <laughs> the water was kind of splashing everywhere i was like this is too much so i ended up turning it off but i had my feet soaking in there for 10 minutes and when i took them out my cuticles were all soft because the the cuticle remover really like softened those cuticles up <laughs> as it should right so i'm just going in with this cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back my cuticles. I'm getting all that dead skin and the cuticle off of my nail and around my nail. I'm trying to give myself a salon style pedicure at home. I want it to be legit, you know? I'm, I usually do my toes. Um, the last time I got my toes done was when I was going to Miami for my birthday and that was just cause I didn't feel like doing them myself but normally I do my toes. And I can honestly say every time that I've paid someone to do my toes, they never ever come out the way that I actually want them to. So it's just better off if I just do them myself. I was showing you guys that my nail actually broke. It cracked. And if I were to cut it all the way down to where it's cracked on that side, I literally would have like half a toenail. So I wasn't going to do that. So you can drag me if you want, but I'm going to keep it 
and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna show you guys how. So I'm just going in and I'm taking up all of that cuticle. Like you see how, and, and I look like I'm being really rough, but I'm actually not. This is, all of the skin is really soft. So it's just coming off really easily. And that's because of the cuticle remover. So I would highly recommend that if you feel like it's hard for you to get your cuticles super clean looking. I would definitely invest in a cuticle remover, but I'm just doing that on all of my little toesies. This is like very candid for me. I didn't think I'd ever do a pedicure video for you guys because I don't know, like I don't think I've ever put my toes on the internet like that. Um, but a lot of you guys are asking for like how you do poly gel on your toes. So I was like, this is the perfect video actually because I've done gel before, I've done builder gel. Um, so why not poly gel, you know? So I'm just going in with a cuticle cutter now um, and I'm clipping away at a little bit more of that dead skin that's just sitting around the, the nail. This is like, I'm really trying to clean them up so that I can have perfectly pedicured toes. Like I want my pedi to be perfect, period. Oh, that was like three P's, like P, 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 okay. Um, Anyway, I'm sorry, I get so distracted. Going in, doing the same thing on all my little toes. Oh, they look kind of cute here. And then I'm gonna use a nail file and I'm going to square these babies up because I like a square shape. I like a straight edge. I like sharp corners. Personally, that's my preference. You can file your nails your toenails however you want, but this is how I'm gonna file my toenails, okay? Period, okay? So, I'm just going in and I'm doing that, and I'm using a nail file that has a very straight edge. This is like a square nail file, so it really just does all the work for me. My feet look dumb soft, okay? That's that Epsom salt right there. No cap, like that's what that is. Then I'm going in with this pH Bond Dehydrator. You don't have to use this one, but this is out of the Gelish kit that I literally use in every single video. It will be linked down below in the description box. And then I'm going in with this IBD um, primer. This is a bonder. I noticed that when I use bonder slash primer, those are like the same thing. If I use a primer and I use a foundation under my gel, it lasts longer. So I'm gonna start using both all of the time. There's a lot of different videos where I would use one or the other, but I like how long my nails last when I use both. Cured this for 45 seconds, and then I went in with the Gelish foundation. This is a base coat. You have to cure this as well. All of the items that I'm using on my toes, you're gonna have to cure. Everything is gel. That's how I get my sets to last so long. Before this previous set chipped, it was on for a month before any chipping happened. And then I had it on for another month before I actually did anything about it, and that's because I'm lazy. But after going in with the um, base coat, I'm just showing you guys I have a bruise under my nail. I like stubbed my toenail really, really hard, and I bruised it, and it bled underneath the nail. That's not a fungus. But yeah, just showing you guys that. I fixed the nail. You see how it's like solid again? Like there's no crack in it. It's not separated. It's literally like a full nail again. You have to like, you have to stand at that point, you know? I'm going in with this Roslyn Poly Gel. This is nude pink. I just wanted to use something that I haven't used before. Um, I always use the McCart Poly Gel, so I was like, let me just go in with this Roslyn one. And my method for doing this wasn't like trying to build a nail, cause my nail is pretty solid since I've put the primer and the foundation base on, the base coat. So I'm just kind of painting this on as if I'm doing a color with it, you know? Like, I'm just doing a, a layer of this, but it's not a thick layer. It's gonna be pretty thin, just to add a little bit more security because this nail was broken. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. And I only ended up doing poly gel on my big toe because I didn't feel like my other toenails needed it. You can do as you please if you want to put it on all your toenails you can but i personally didn't feel like i needed it on all t all five toes all ten toes um <laughs> so i only did it on my two big toes just went in and i cleaned off 
the sticky layer and I'm filing and buffing this nail so that I can go in and put my color on next. But again, square shapes only, honey. White toes only, square shapes only. Like, we're not doing a round. We're doing a square. We're doing a straight edge. It's going to look real cute. Dust away that nail powder, you know, all the excess. Clean that nail up. And, honey, she looks good, okay? That looks like a perfect nail. Like, you wouldn't have been able to tell that it was all cracked and crazy looking 10 minutes ago. Then I'm going in with my white um this is not poly gel my white gel i'm sorry this is in keeping it realism is the color i'll have this link down below as well i'm doing one coat on every single toe and then i'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then go in with a second coat so i'm just going to let you guys watch this because i feel like i've been talking this whole time okay one more thing i want to add you guys keep telling me i sound like doja um i don't think i sound like her if anything, maybe I artic my, articulate my words as heavy as she does. But I don't think I sound like her. Like, where where do y'all hear that? Like, I'm confused. Like, it's cool, though. Like, I don't care. But the amount of Doja Cat comments that I get, like, I'm going to have to mute that word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, like, everyone says that. That and Billie Eyelash. I still don't know how I sound like her, but okay. This is the second layer of the white gel polish. I cured the first layer and then I went in with the second. You have to cure in between. Don't forget that, okay? And cure just means you're putting it under the UV lamp for 60 seconds or for however long you want. Then I'm going in with the top coat out of the gelish kit. Again, this kit, it just has everything you need from start to finish. Like, and I think it's like 40 or $50. It's honestly worth it because if you were to buy each item individually, it would cost you more. So just buy the kit. You'll have it for a year minimum. I've had this for about a year and I'm still like, it's still going strong. Then I'm going in with that cuticle oil. You know, my favorite part. This is when the nails really just come to life. I have a little bit of coconut oil and shea butter sitting on my foot so that's what that greasy substance is at the top <laughs> but i just rub that in after i moisturize my cuticles period and that's what the feet is looking like these feet though wow the toes the white toes this is giving very much robin fenty white toes like in every pair of shoes that she has ever worn in the existence of like life like wow look at my toes they look dumb good are you dumb these look i come on okay okay i'm gonna calm down but i did that period so if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave me a comment down below leave me a comment suggest something else you want to see me do i don't think i'm gonna do another pedicure video for you guys because i literally only wear white polish like that will never go out of style for me ever it's white polish to la da to la die but if you guys want some other videos and just leave suggestions down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below as well click that thumbs up button you can also go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam turn on your post notifications there'll be new videos two times a week my new upload schedule is tuesdays and thursdays but yeah don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.